and Johnny Grammar professional trainer. Thank you so much for um, subscribing to my videos and using it to teach your children. I just want to give you a brief about what Jolly Phonics is, very short, and then also take you through um, the resources I'm going to use in the subsequent videos in teaching the sounds, I mean, for your children to learn how to read and write with Jolly Phonics. So what is Jolly Phonics? We say it is a multi-sensory approach to teaching children how to read and write. So when we talk about multi-sensory, then we are talking about the fact that it uses more than one of the senses. And as we know in education, children learn through their senses through play. It's activity-based and very interesting, a very fun way of teaching children how to read and write. It is also systematic. The sounds are taught in a particular order to help make reading faster and easier and fun as well. So we do, I would say we do not really rush the children. We take them at a particular pace so that they can pick up their reading quite well. Now in teaching Jolly Phonics, we take the children through what we call five basic skills. And what are these five basic skills? We are talking about teaching the letter sound. And when it comes to teaching the letter sound, we read a story, we have an action to go with the sound, and then there's a song to go with the sound. That's why we say it is multi-century. So we use the ear when we hear the story. We use, you know, there's the kinesthetic, you know, when we do the action. And then we sing the song as well. There are a lot of visuals that go with it that helps with what visual learners as well. Now, then from learning the letter sounds, we go to letter formation. So we teach the children the sounds, and then we teach them the letters that represent the sound. Sounds are what we hear, and letters are what we see. So we teach them to represent what they hear with the correct symbol, that is the letter. So we teach them how to write it, what type of letter you know they are writing. We teach them that as well. We also teach them what we call blending, and that is key to reading. And when we talk about blending, we are saying that after teaching them how to, you know, make the sound, now can we put these individual sounds together in a particular order to be able to form words in order to read? So we do that. Then we teach them what we call sounding or identifying sounds in words and that will help the child to be able to spell and so now we can put sounds together to read now we need to be able to spell this is, this is a skill that doesn't come naturally the fact that a child can read doesn't mean a child can spell it's a skill that we need to teach them and so as part of the lesson we teach them sounding and then the final skill that we teach them is tricky words after going through a lot of words that has the regular sounds that we are going to teach them, we, we, we need certain words to be able to read. But then the structure of those words are such that they don't follow the normal phonic pattern as they know. And so we are saying tricky words because when you use your sounds to read them, you get tricked. And so the children get them wrong. We teach them and they learn them by sight. So these are the five basic skills that we teach these children. Now if you look behind me, you can see over here, especially on this chart, these are the group of sounds that we are going to teach the children. Now, the traditional alphabet has 26 letters, you know, or let's say sounds. But when we come to Jolly Phonics, we actually teach them 42 sounds. So there are 26 letters, but then we teach them 42 sounds, which means that if you look at it very well, especially at the side downwards, you notice that there are some of the sounds where two letters are coming together to make a sound. And so we teach them and then they make the distinction. It helps to read. And so this is what we call the English alphabetic code, 42, some would have 44. We take them through, you know. So and these sounds are put in seven groups and we teach them in that order. So we have the group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six, and then group seven. So we start from group one and then we take them through. Now when children, especially when they are four years, we make sure that we teach them one sound a day one sound a day 
very, very important. So these are the songs that I'm going to take your children through. And then when I come to this part, you would notice the heading says what the eight steps of teaching a new letter sound. So for all these 42 sounds that you see here, when we pick any of the sounds, we are going to take the children through these activities. So from the very first letter to the very last, for every sound, it goes through these sets of activities. And what are they? We are talking about, we are going to read a story, and the story would emphasize the sound that we are going, we are going to teach them for the day. We are going to teach them the action in the, in the, you know, in the story. But as you read the story, the action is done in the story. Then we are going to show them a flashcard. We are going to tell them that what you had, this is what it is represented with. And so if, let's say, we are teaching a sound, and we are saying the sound is then I show them, have you seen this? This is what so what you hear is represented by what this symbol or this letter then we teach them what you call formation how do we write the letters we need to teach them the correct start point and the, the where to end in the letter formation then we talked about blending putting sounds together to form words we talked about sounding, being able to hear the individual sounds in a word in order to be able to spell. And then we'll do dictation, dictation of sounds, dictation of words if they have started blending. And then we'll end with our jolly song. So like I said, every one of the many, every one of the sounds, you know, has what, a song to go with it. So that is what we are talking about, you know, here. Now, I will want to quickly take you through some of the resources that I'm going to use. Now, you can't teach Jolly Phonics without a teacher's book. So I'm going to use the teacher's book. And this is in the teacher's book that I have all the stories that I'm going to, you know, read on the sound. And then the story I'm going to read will be seen in pictures in this Finger Phonics big book. So whatever I read on this sound, you see it in pictures. So we have the what the Finger Phonics big book, and I'm going to use that one as well. Then we are going to have, you know, activities in the pupils' book. So when I talk about the sounding, this is what I'm talking about. This way we, ex we start exploring sounding before we actually make come to dictation of words. Now, Jolly Phonics has what we call the wall freeze. If I open this one, you would notice that it has all the sounds in the first group, as you can see up here. So you can have a s, a, t, a, n, all of them here. So whenever we are done with this group, we put up our chat and that serves as reinforcement for the children. When they see the pictures, they'll be able to remember the sounds together with the action. So we have all the wall freeze, each freeze for one of them. Okay, so I have my flashcards over here, very important. And so I would encourage you parents to, you can just get cardboard, cut them out like that and write the sounds on them, you know, for the children to be able to use, you know, when they are free. So we are going to use our flashcards. I have here my sun tray. We are going to learn our letter formation in the sand. So if you don't have a sand, you can use Gary, put it in a tray and then the child can use. I have my alphabetic letter, which we are going to use for blending activities. So this one is magnetic, and then anytime we need to, I'm going to you know, stick it to the, um, to the board, if you have one. You can actually even do the blending on our tables, over here, like I'm doing. So we have our magnetic letters. Now, we don't have magnetic letters, but what can you use? We have an improvised one. These are normal bottle tops. When you drink your Voltec, your whatever water, don't throw the bottle tops away. Just pick them out and you can just write the sound on them as I have done here. See how I've had a collection like that and then we use it for our blending activities. I have quite a lot of resources here which we are going to use in the lesson. I have my erasable board or you can get a slate and a chalk for your child to use. Okay, so these are I have a few, okay, and then finally I have my blending cut. When we start blending, I mean, you will, you will be using these ones, you know, for our lessons. So just to say that these are a few of the resources that we are going to use in our journey for next lessons. I just want to encourage you to um, keep 
practicing with your child, um, and then I know that um, you watch, your child will get better as we watch. I, I want to believe that by the time we are out of all these you know, coronavirus, stay at home, um, and stuff, and come back to school, your child will be doing so well, you know, well improved. And don't worry, I mean, the lessons are not going to end there because um, I'm going to upload all these videos on my YouTube channel, which I'll be um, announcing to you in the course of the lessons that I'm going to have with your children so that you can go there and then watch it. And please, when you do, like it, share it, and then get others, send them to your friends whom you know are having children who are struggling with reading, and then get them to also be up and doing. Now you can also download the Joy Phonics app if you have an Android phone. I know on Android phone it's free, but Apple users, they charge you a little. But if you have an Android phone, just go to I mean, Google Play Store, type Jolly Phonics Lessons. Jolly Phonics Lessons. And then you would see this app yellow with a mouse, you know, on it download it and then you are set to go so whenever we are done with the lesson you can let your child play it and then also do use it as a form of reinforcement so this is just a little bit to welcome you to uh, jolly for this session we hope to have a very good time so thank you for your time and then may god bless us all bye